Good afternoon. Welcome to the Darth Grumpy Dad Twitch stream. And uh, once again, doing D3. This is part two of my uh, seasonal beginner's guide for Diablo 3. Um, doing a monk here. Yesterday ran t about two hours. Spent most of the time explaining menus and stuff. And uh, went back and watched it like I always watch my shows afterwards like later because you know just to better learn where I'm not doing very well uh but anyways <laughs> I'm really bad at solo leveling I realize I'm so used to doing it with a party so used to like uh um being able to get the challenge rift and I'd totally forgotten that if you don't have a level 70 character that run a greater rift on your account, whether it's not seasonal or seasonal, that you can't run the challenge rift. I'd forgot all about that. Um, I see myself like running past Nephilim's glories all the time and stuff I drop because I'm used to having a full level 70 character with like 800 Paragon and a really large pickup radius and most of those most of that stuff just gets picked up automatically for me, right? So I'm just so I don't even think about picking it up. I'll hit a weapon rack and run away and then go, oh, wait a minute. I got to go pick that up. So uh, we'll get to it again today. Now, uh, I, I appreciate your patience and, <clears throat> and uh, just enjoy it. It's got to be some ways entertaining when I just freeze up, brain freeze for like five seconds and don't say anything. It's like... Wow, I'm bad at that. And I say like and write and uh, way too much. I should not have taken like four or five months off of streaming. And my speech patterns got pretty bad. Okay, all that done with. Got our little monkey boy here. We got him. We, we don't have him. I think he's at 18. Before we get going on with that, we're going to go... From right here, I'm going to remind you guys in the options under gameplay, make sure you have elective mode turned on so you can equip multiple skills from each skill set to and you can equip them to any button you want. It makes ease of play. It makes quality of life so much better when you're playing and you can put any skill on any button and you can equip two skills from the same category. And it, it makes it much easier to build a nice sturdy build. Next thing I always, uh, that is a good idea to have on, show advanced tool tips. So you can see where your follower is in their <clears throat> main stat, whether they're intelligence, strength, or dexterity based. They hit about 25 or, yeah, 25,000, 2,800 on their main stat, and all their skills will be maxed out. And by having that turned on, you can see how far in they are it makes. Again, it's just an ease of life thing. All right, so. Uh, da -da -da, we're restarting the game. Adventure mode, act one. We're still on master because we need a gem. So I'm going to watch this again, and I think we need to do <clears throat> a boss bounty battle here in Act 1 to get our final gem. And it is the queen. <clears throat> Little... No. No, 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 it's not. Which one is it? Yeah, okay, let's kill the butcher again. All right, all right. Jeez. All right, try to check and see what I got going on. Okay. Yeah, I'm so I'm like, when you're leveling with a group of people, generally your, your uh, levels go up so fast. You don't have really time to go through your skills and try and pick and choose what you want, right? It's just, uh, you know, it's like you're in town and you're 20 levels up. You know, pick something, go. All right, let's get out of town and go again. <laughs> it 
So I have the time actually to go, oh, what skill do I want? Which room? What, what should I do here? It's kind of weird. Pick that up. Pick it up. But it's still fun. I have, I have not done a soul leveling thing in a while. And there are, like I said uh, yesterday, there are much faster builds you can use for this. Demon Hunter builds, I think they're the uh, uh, Whirlwind bar builds, like before you even get in your sets, right? Because you can uh, build, oh, let's go this way. It says to go this way. Let's try this over here. It says you can, so because you can build the uh, LOD set, right? You just put together a group of legendaries and uh, that around a certain skill or ability. See, we'll go to leaderboards. We'll look at the monk one really quick. And it, and, and it, and it gives you a fair amount of damage. Now, this is basically the way it was done back in the day before they had... Oh, wait, I went past it. Come on, now. Machine's running super slow all of a sudden. No set. Okay. We don't have an entry there. Uh, we'll just kind of go down and pick this. Because these are all going to be the same build. Right, so they've got Kirishio's Blade. So this is all around Wave of Light, the Wave of Light skill. And it's a fire damage build, right? So we're going to look, see, fire skill on the bracers, fire skill on the necklace. Oh, they don't have any fires. Oh, that's the... There we go. There we go. Fire skill there. Fire skill. Uh, no fire skill on it, but... It creates an effect of for epiphany that mimics it give, like makes a clone of you and it mimics your spirit spenders on a uh, close target and then see all this gear so in this case is just legendary cinder code it gives you uh, fire skill resource reduction and fire skill so they're at about 60 there 55 60 fire skill uh Libre soliloquy Gives you damage reduction when you hit with Cyclone Strike. And it's hold. Why are they wearing that glove? Probably just because it was a good glove. Right? And they got crit and crit chance on it. Uh, normally, I think that's either uh, Stone Gauntlets or Mage Fist. And they got Pinto's Pride. So more. They've got more Wave of Light damage on that. They got Obsidian Ring, the Zodiac. Because you don't need you don't need a uh, ring of royal grandeur for a no set build, right? Incense torch, again, wave of light damage. Right? So they got wave of light, explosive light, epiphany, dashing strike, serenity, cyclone strike. See all, all skills we're looking at using already, anyways. Right? Seize the initiative. Uh, Attacking guys above 75% health, their health 75% initially gives you uh, attack boost. Beacon of Etar lowers, lowers your cooldowns by 20%. Harmony um, takes your highest uh, elemental resistance and takes 40 of that and spreads it and gives it to all resistance, right? Instead of just instead of just resist fire, it becomes resist all elements, right? Uh, Guardian's Path gives you dodge chance with two weapons, higher dodge chance, and if you have one weapon, it gives you higher spirit generation, right? Mystic Ally, Air Ally, creates a Mystic Ally out of air that... Uh, Air ally generates spirit for you. Helps you generate spirit. Okay, so liberate da, 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 da. Squirt's necklace. All right, bindings of the lesser god with fire on it. That gives you uh, damage towards your mystic allies and triples the damage for fire allies. So again, I said it's a fire build. Unity, okay, so you wear this, you and your follower wear this, and you share health. You put your follower cannot die token on, and you just get a lot more health out of the build. Uh, Crudus Boots, again, that gives your Mystic Ally more damage. So your Mystic Ally and the clone that your uh, Rabbit Strike make for you, your Mimic, do way more damage. Uh, Blackthorn's Jousting Mail. See, this is a, this is a, 
pretty common one for no sets because you can roll elemental skill on it, right? So yeah, he's got already got like two. Oh no, elemental skill on that one. Oh, I thought there was. All right, two. Uh, possibility of forty. Possibility of sixty. 80 fire skill, possibility of 80 fire skill right there. And if you switch these out for Mage Fist, that's another 20 fire skill on Mage Fist. You'd be getting like a, a you know, at max, 100% increased fire skill damage out of this build. Um, and with the altar, with the altar, um, if you didn't want Mage Fist, you could do Stone Gauntlets. And uh, it ignores some of the the negative effects of stone gauntlets. See, this guy's got stone gauntlets. All right, anyway, so that's a dose of pills. I went way off into the weeds again. Sorry about that. We're leveling a guy. I need to spend more time leveling our guy. Oh, we got a mantra down, too. I hadn't noticed. Probably it's probably the uh, our first mantra, which is going to be Mantra of Salvation. Die already. Oh, and something else I forgot to mention about our, uh, our rope there, our kill streak. Once it gets at about 100, you want to let it drop. Because it'll, you'll, uh, the game will think, well, he's doing just fine, and quit dropping those Nephilim's glories, right? And you need those Nephilim's glories, right? You want them to be dropping. So if you have over a hundred on your on your kill streak, you you just want to let it drop, right? You want to get let that thing get 50, 60, 80, maybe, and then just let it drop. There we go. And kill some guys here. Do 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 do. Yeah. Having a third hit freeze is nice, but it's so slow. So slow. Let's see. Let's look at these again. Oh, we do have this open. It's a bit faster. And then I believe eventually, oh, I don't even have the first one open, so I can't look at the runes. I think eventually running this, we want like our third or fourth rune on this. Gives us a lot of good stuff. There, see, this is a much more speedier. So I'm saying, you know, it doesn't generate as much per punch as the other one, but because there's so many of them, right, you end up generating way more spirit. And our attack speed's so low right now anyways. Get another set of guys here. Get get us a trap kill, maybe. Nope, no trap kill. Oh, might and magic. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's probably, and we should just keep going. But hey, man, we're solo gaming. It doesn't matter. We're going to ride away. We're going to get assault, exalted soul here. Increase maximum spirit by 50. Increase spirit regeneration by 4 per second. So now we're actually generating spirit. Uh, I, I like fleet of foot. I still like the increased movement bonus early on. But, um, uh, and then we got this one now. Gain 4 spirit per second when mantra is in effect. Right, and also reduces your mantra activation cost. Let's toss up for this, which gives us uh, increased attack speed by 30% for four seconds, 
dealing damage to enemies about 75% life, right? Now, I'm pretty sure that means their life, and their life is about to right? Um, that increased attack speed, but I, I, I kind of want the spirit right now. Oh, whoops. Keep this one. Oh, yeah, I don't... We'll just keep this one for now. And then <clears throat> our next passive... We'll do the other one. Kill these home homeboys right here. Yeah, there we go. I think that was our other gem we were looking for too. I think that's a two-handed sword, even though it's wide. Yeah. Uh, two-handed maze. Oh, that's not what I came here to look at. Came to see. Oh, I thought we got a second one of those dropped. I seen a gem drop. I thought it was one of those. New. Why does it keep taking me so far back? Two might have been one of those. Anyway, see, it wasn't our diamond. Oh, we got follower skill open. Finally, our Knight's Veil. There we go. Some extra crit hit chance. So you see the big red ring he just put down? Oh, it didn't last very long, but that's extra crit hit chance for us. Our dashing strikes do it a lot better too. We're getting there. Just keep moving, keep playing. We gotta quit uh, going off on tangents quite so much. But hey, oh look at that! Look at that damage we done. Oh whoa! A crit hit touch for not hardly touching him. <laughs> Get away for a minute. Come back in. Get out of there. Oh, yeah. I wasn't fast enough. Get that health. Get off the fire. Fire bad. So the life pool over here. Oh, he thinks he's cool, doesn't he? Oh, I miss him when he's in the crit hit circle. Here, grab this health pool. Maybe grab this health pool. Jesus. Oof, that one hurt. Dang it. Oof. Keep thinking that life pool is lower down on the wall than it is. Oof. 
Do -do -do, do -do -do. Run around. Let's mana build. Dash over there. Oh, how do I miss him? Like that. Get out of the fire. Fire bad. Oh, and this fire again. Yeah, yeah, with your big hammer. Oof. Oh, that was poor timing. Who? Hit him only stun over there, huh? Do -do -do. Oh, this could be bad. Oh, you missed me with that. Oh, didn't miss me with that. Yep, this is taking much longer than the first time we fought him. Let me get out of the fire. Oops, out of the fire, out of the fire. And I'm in the fire again. Fire! Bad. Who likes that fire? I don't like the fire. fire bad got some got some beating done on him that time Fire bad.
Oh. Dang it. Die already, you big brute. Hopefully we get our our gem this go around, our proper gem we need. No, I'm seeing two rubies, a topaz, and two amethysts. Yep. Bastard. No diamond. That's just not right. That is just not right. Uh, he still wants to tell us a long story. Okay, what do we see what we got? Oh, gungo gear for exploding palm. See you, I was saying exploding palm applies on death explosion. Uh, it's increased. Alright, not that I have it on there, but it's still a really good piece. Uh, no, I like to create hit chance on that other one. Oh, no, want to cool down. Possibly a better bow. Oh, way better bow for our follower. Pants. Nope, keep those for now. What the heck? What is... Golden life, that's it. Oh, cooldowns and resource cost. That's not bad. Not bad. How much gold do we got? Okay, we're starting to get there for gold, so we can actually just salvage all that. Pair our shoes, stuff, see what we got to gamble. Nothing to gamble yet. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's put our gems in our stash and see what we get. Jesus, I don't believe we didn't get... We got three of those, three of those, two of those. Man, we didn't get a topaz. Well, hmm. That means we've got to do another boss battle or just run a Nephi. We'll just run a regular Nephi. Maybe we'll get one in there. <sighs> Disappointing. Oh, where it's... I forgot to check my skills again, too. Just disappointing. Okay, what do we got? Our, yeah, Mantra of Salvation. Increased resistance to all ailments. Right. Passive. Okay, so when you trigger this, whenever you hit it, you get an extra 20% for three seconds. And just in the background, all, running all the time, you and your allies within 60 yards gain 20% increased resistance to elements, right? So when you hit the RB button, that pumps it up to 40 for three seconds. Seems like there was something else that I wanted to do. Ah, this is what I actually want. I mean, that's handy. But so is this. Ooh, that cooldown is so long right now. Maybe not. Let's not and say we did. Maybe we could try this for a bit.
instead of uh, see <laughs> Not bad. Okay, this pylon, this is a channeling pylon. See, it's got like two lines on either side. So that's massive cooldown and see how our spirit would just not run out when you just throw on it. Oops, somebody feared us. Screw you, you last sucking ghost. Oh yeah, the cooldown on that is ridiculous. There we go. Our, our pylon ran out. Oh, he feared us. He feared us good. Yay, we got 7% of the rift done. <laughs> I'm so used to having a full set, too. Yeah. Now we're going to get some XP from this. Maybe, ah, let's run. Let's find some more guys. He'll follow us. When did I get any more dashing strike to that key? Do, do, do. Uh, yeah. And the, this punch of the hundred is kind of meant to be used in a group, see, so. Ooh, I let him get me. He got me good. It applies the uh, I'm punching a wall. Like after you apply the that the exploding palm. <sighs> Let's get that on a couple of guys. Jesus, I'm taking so much damage all of a sudden. I don't even know what the heck. All right, let's... Exploding Palm is fun. But really, we were doing much better with... Ooh. Mm -hmm. Kind of need the health for now. Oh, come here. Life sucking.
I don't suppose we got any more skills open for our punch either. Nope. Running away. I'm just all mad I didn't get that gem out of that butcher fight. So I'm all, oh, yeah, let's go do something else. Which isn't good for leveling, right? If we're trying, trying to kind of level faster, it's not good. I should just sign out and reset and do the butcher fight again or whatever the boss fight is going to be. All right. Because we need that gem. And we need to do a boss fight to get it. And this time, yep, it's the queen. Ooh. Better than either one. Ah. Yeah, much better. I'll keep the resource cooldown on that one. Uh, nah, the other one's still better all around. Guess we should have went up. There's our mystic ally. Oh, we should get a treasure goblin out of that chest after we kill the spider, I'm pretty sure. This is where we get that. That elemental damage, quit standing in it. Spitting the venom out where I want to go attack her. All right. Chesty up here should pop it. There it goes. Where are you going, little buddy? Oh, yeah, just stand right in that corner. Area damage or cool down a little bit more. Yeah, let's see if we get anything for the follower. Nah, that's better. Hit. He does need a ring though.
Yeah, I think we'll stick with fire. Still haven't gotten... See, this is what we want in the end. 30, like 29% increased damage for three seconds. That's what we're headed to. All right, all right, all right. Let's go, let's go. Go kill this chicky. We need that diamond. I shouldn't be messing around with all these. Oop. These guys, though, they deserve to be messed with. Ooh, another gobby? Oh my goodness. If I could kill him while I'm getting beat up by these guys, it's another story. Ho, ho, ho. Plan for Kane's fate. What's wrong? There we go. Oh. Uh, no, I'll put it on my follower, though. And, uh, nah. Moving on. That was fortunate of us. The RNG gods were, were polite. Oh. Champion. Oh, come on. With the cold damage and the elemental damage, what is this? Oh, get out of that. Oh, man. Toxic Lurker. At least it's a trash mob. but takes damage pretty easily. Now you, on the other hand... This is going to be a long battle up in here, too. She's probably going to get away from me like five times before I kill her. Ooh, that was nice. Crit damage there. Get out of the poison. Yeah, see. Oh. Yeah, now she's going to send some little minions out after me.
Blinding speed, seven sided strike, sudden assault. We could use that since we have that equipped. Right now. Oh, can't do it during a boss battle. Time for the minions to come out again. There we go. Oh, she gives ooh two sockets on it. Nice. Oh, mucho. Uh, let's see if that belt's any better for me first. Eh, no. Hand me down gear is gear too. Okay, let's see what we get here. Bunch of shit, not for me. Ooh, some nice shoulder pads. Follower gets a brand new weapon. Ho, ho, ho. See, he's already up to 308 damage. I'm at 124. He's like kicking my butt. Emerald, emerald, emerald. Diamond. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go back to down. We go to town. I must return. Doodly doo, doodly doo. Dum -dum. Talk to this guy. Scroll down here. Make him see one of these. Runs over here. Da -da 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 Grab this. Right here. Now, um, if somebody's power leveling you, right, they're just like, you know, open a primal, open a, a scream level, whatever, and they're going to power level you. Take you right into T6, run you through three, four nephies, and level you to 70. You don't need to worry about this one, right? 
you can skip it. Maybe grab this one. And then this, this one, right? But we need this one. We're, we're doing this by ourselves. So we kind of need this one. And from there, we can, we can grab 25% movement speed or uh, um, increase damage against the elites. Right? Either one of these is kind of like, we'll probably do this one. We're going to need that one. And it, like, I always really want to get this one, like, two right away. But if we want to, I mean, for the XP, but, uh, and then we want this one. So that the health gloves give us a little bit of shield once in a while. Basically, we want to work our way over here. Right? So this is the first potion we want to open when we get there, right? Um, so, any, like, this gives us the ability to drink a potion whenever the cooldown is down, whether we need health or not, and it activates an ability, right? We gain a random shrine or dimensional power pylon effect every 30 seconds, and those shrine effects can stack, especially once you get Gloves of Worship on your follower, Right, and, and then those small shrines will last 10 minutes. You can stack some serious stuff, right? So that's basically where we're headed on this. Um, increase highest elemental damage by 10, right? Double the bounty caches. Crit hits, grant resource, right? That's a really good one for uh channeling skills like if you're running a channeling skill it's good for the wizard firebirds right early on they just like so you don't run out of arcane immunity to crowd control effects that's that's a big one too passability is a big one all these ones most of these ones down here again increase damage to at least by 20 like you can grab like they start getting but they start getting expensive really quick too Right, so our next sacrifice is going to be 20 Greater Rift Keys, right? 20 Greater Rift Keys and one Ramadal use. Oh, no, that's all the way down to 11. I'm like, oh, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> our next one is a Greater Rift Key. So we have to be to at least 70 before we can get our this one here. The Damage to Elites, right? So you want to it, kind of, you want to go on kind of like a question mark pattern there, back to the middle and then down. Right over to these. But yeah, and then like our our. So we need to be seventy and have a greater rift key to get the next one, right? And any class specific helm item, is going to be the sacrifice after that that, the altar is going to require. Um kind of missing being because like the greater rift key we could have got that out of the challenge rift cash right we could have got like half the stuff we needed from that challenge rift but i mean new new account i didn't have access to that so it is what it is not you know all right not power leveling just uh couch cruising it but here's what we oh, did i make that sacrifice god i don't know i was busy talking because I'm a big dope. All right, here we go. Let's, yeah, let's make that sacrifice. No level requirements on our gear, right? And then our next sacrifice is going to be a greater rift key and 10 death breath. So at like T1, we get one death breath per elite mob we kill. But here's, here's where we start. We're going to go to train. Right, and we're gonna just start pumping cash into this guy. Everything's level one now. Everything. So let's go over here to weapons. Right. What is this? I don't know, but it's way better than what we're running. Like, see, look at that. Thirty. This almost twice as much damage, and we can put two of those on. Right. 
uh, so we can make uh, uh, probably a way better weapon for our follow, right? So these are way, way better weapons to start with, right? And we're gonna want these. We're gonna we're we're gonna want the fist weapons, right? Armor, way better armor. Oh, there's that cane set. Okay, first, let's salvage what we got here. All that we got, repair that, even though we probably don't need it, won't need it, spend the money on it. Okay. Okay, and set. Let's see what this gives us. Da -da -da, crit chance, one socket, guaranteed. Which is good, because we can put a ruby in there for the extra XP, right? Uh, two pieces, 20 attack speed, 10% magic item find, and 50% bonus experience. So this is a leveling set, and we should be able to make, make it. I don't think we have any other, le other legendary stuff we can craft right now. That's going to be any better. It's nothing that that's not going to be any like that is a huge find for us. That that is a huge, huge find. All right. So we're going to make that. All right. And we only need three pieces, but I'm probably going to make all four. All right. Because why not? Because the whole thing is probably, oh yeah, going to be way, way better for us. Whoops. Ooh. And this hell. Oh, oh, I'm out of gold. No way. Oh. We're still getting the three-piece bonus, though. All right, let's probably put those on my follower. There we go. 50% XP. We still got... Do we have a socket on that? Nope. All right, all right. So we'll stick with this pig sticker for a while Let's see what we got we can okay that's going to keep him alive better okay let's see what what we can get for selling stuff here So that I want the dex right now I want a ruby and deck stuff let's see what we got got three rubies we can level one up right on I'm just gonna carry this stuff with us those can be sold All right. So the stuff I don't need, I still don't think I have quite enough to make what I want. Okay. Nope. Oh, I do just, just barely. Right on. Right on, right on. Okay, a little bit less damage on this. A lot more health. Better crit. Some vitality. Here's what we're going to do. 
weird take. Probably don't have enough cash to make this bigger. Yeah, no, it takes lots of, lots of loot. It takes lots of loot. So, it's what we're going to do is we are just going to put one of these in our helm. There we go. Oh, we, we can get, like, watch this, too. This is funny. We can get another achievement right now. Right? So, we've, like, put four stones in. I'm going to remove this one. Right? I'm going to remove these. And I'm going to put them back in. And we're going to get an achievement for our... Uh... There we go. Sockety. <laughs> Seasonal journey. If you get anything with one socket, you get one socket and you got one gem. You can put that gem in and take it out five times to get that socketing achievement. <laughs> I know it's stupid silly, but it works. So <laughs> we need to check our, our seasonal journey too. All right, uh, completing Nephilim Rift. All right, we could probably do that next. We have to... Start leveling anyways. Right. A life. Uh, raise blacksmith to level 10. Jeweler to 10. Mystic to 10, right? Kill Belial. Reach level 50. All right, all right. We got this. We'll start with this Nephilim. This Nephilim Rift. We need one anyways. We should see our our levels start going up way faster too. That Uncle Phil guy, when he starts blowing up, we want to get away from him. Let's see if I can run this. Gobby into a wall somewhere. Oops. Get away, nope. Come on, lock on to the Gavi or treasure goblin again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We survived that explosion. I don't believe it. But our treasure goblin got away. That sucks. That sucks big time. Wow, our health is way better right now. <laughs> I'm like digging this. Yeah, and our health is up. Yeah, it's it's nice. It's nice. Yes, yes. Oh, we ran out, but that's okay. We got this champion over here. Who just voluntarily ran away from his crew.
run right back into that ice ball. Okay, whatever. We'll kill some guys over here then. Come on. Yeah, as you can tell the monsters like as you level up, the monsters level up too. It's kind of a double-edged sword, you know. you and your oh there was like two mobs there I didn't even realize it this frozen guy is super annoying though -ha -ha. here here's a boa -ha 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 for you take my seven sided strike There we go. That's a little 26 bonus. <sighs> Haven't checked skills in a while. Oh, there's our dodge. Well, spirit generation, well, we got this bad boy. Increase armor by 20%. Uh, yeah, uh, do, do, oh, sun cool down. There we go, we got our kill bonus up and going again. Go back and look at our skills again real quick. Number of hits in the second from seven to ten. Increase damage to weapon damage as lightning. Nifty. And like I said, I believe we're looking for assimilation. This is where we're headed with this. Each enemy hit with the third hit increases your damage by 5% for 10 seconds. And I think that stacks to like 10 or so. I, I don't remember. All right. Our second one, unleash the roundhouse. Nah. Uh... I don't think we can change this right now, but yeah. Oh, I was looking at this one. Yeah, I can't even look at the other. Okay, set aside a strike. Ooh. 
There we go. That was a nice. Oh, and I ran away from our crit hit circle too, didn't I? Wait for that cooldown of the blinding flash so I can actually go see what the uh, new passive is. Slowed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we want. Yeah, just stay there. We get a nice bonus here. We'll probably get this up to close to a hundred. Just stand back here and let that guy keep making little baddies for us to kill. some reusable parts 96 kills that was a good one sanctified ground it's not a bad one but I kind of like the skills we got going right now Give me that. Stinking Nephilim's glory. How many seconds of that do we got built up? We have 17 seconds. Oh, not a lot. See if we can build up another to a hundred again. There's some nice yellow fists. Ooh, what do you know? Do I put all my green stones in, or did I ever pick a pet? No, it doesn't look like I did. I actually need a pet to pick up gold now. Uh, let's see, the floaty one. He's slow, but... Nah. 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 Yeah. Attribution healing. And what is our passive? Yeah, just extra damage. Healing. Yeah, I'm not not doing too bad with that right now healing oh, let's go this way you we got two of these monster generators here first oh we missed it
I'd rather, oh, did I have another one-handed weapon? No, I might have to go to town and grab one really quick since I take these guys out. See what's on here, gloves. back to town really quick recycle oh. see now we're banging on some levels we just need some de decent gear uh, let's see if we can make another fist weapon for ourselves here really quick yep Yep, let's see if I can make a second one of those. Looks like it. There we go. Oops. Maximum spirit damage. And five life per spirit spent, 20 XP, 16 XP. Now we're going, now we're, now we're cooking with fire. Okay. Oh, under armor. Here we go. Whew. Barely had enough to make that for my follower. He needs it though, scoundrel token. Can I gamble it all? Nope, not yet, okay. Get back in there, let's go. Oh yeah, probably gonna have to, to level it up as soon as this nephew's done. Go to the next, uh, try and do T1 pretty soon. See how we deal with these guys. Yep. Oh yeah. Getting her done. Getting her done. Pick that up. Oh, that's better for us. No socket though, which means I lose my XP. Forgot to look and see if I had any more green gems. Green gem's good in your weapons. Gives you a crit hit chance. those before we start throwing on these guys.
Here, Mr. Ruin Summoner. Okay. 100 and some kills. Nice. Six times experience XP. Oh. How dare you interrupt me. Green gems. Green gems. Seeing if I had any more green gems. make one more of those well, let's see if I can level him up first train Ooh, I need way more way more loot get this nephew done Oh, look at that. Another achievement. There we go. Let's do this. Let's see this move, move, move. Go, 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 go. Go, my little friend. Go. Die, Mr. Punisher, die. There's level 30. Got another passive open. Ho, ho, ho. What you, oh. Relentless Assault. 20% damage to enemies that are blind, frozen, or stunned. We got that blinding flash going on. All the time. You know what we're picking, right? You, you know. You just know. I, uh, I can worry about any of my other skills and stuff right now. We're doing just fine. Get at least 10 more levels before I worry about it again. Mantra of Conviction. Determination. Determination is a good one too, though. Don't stand in the fire, Paul. Oh, I wanted to pick that up. Well, it's not as good as when I'm wearing with socket in it, but it does have a socket in it itself, so I might be able to put it on the other hand and put my other crit stone in it. Kill this guy. Okay, let's take a look at that. Oh, I thought it had a socket in it. It does not. Oh, so disappointing. Oh, look at that, look at that, right up there, another champion. Well, you really wants me dead, putting them arcane balls right under me like that. Oh, there's another Jimmy, a diamond. <laughs> 
probably the, the size we were looking for. Oh, look at that, a resplendent chest and a pylon we can save for when the power pylon for when the uh, uh, Rift Guardian drops. You bet, you bet. Let's do this. Clear these guys out enough to pick our loot up here. You're making up to chunk. Oops. Oh, and they made me hit my power pile on too. Trying to pick up my loot. Oh, that's that's not cool, man. That's not cool. Not cool at all. Ooh, there's a nice yellow necklace. It ain't worth nothing. Some boots over here. Rift Guardian coming. Oh, this. Now we kind of want to stay in this area, right? Kind of maybe get back up in that corner some more. Nope. Every time we do that blind flash, we want to throw all of our, ooh, ads. Oh, way too many ads. Usually they help you increase your damage because the more, more enemies around you, the more, right, the higher the chance your damage is. But them guys just kind of surrounded me and it were bad. Nope. Nephilim's glory. Ah. Escape button. And a Nephilim's glory. Yeah. Oh, and he's in the crit circle now. Get. Oh. Didn't hit my health. It's too lowly, slowly. Where is he at now? He's over there fighting my follower. He's putting up a, a brave front right now. Don't seem to be hitting them that much. All those little minions are in the way. That tornado's messed me up. Oh! <sighs> ah. we we'll fall back a little bit here. Fall back into territory we've already been to. Oh, maybe not. <sighs> oh, 
Boy, I better get some good XP for killing this chick. <laughs> Ah, uh, dang. Oh, leave those house up there. I'll need them in a second. Uh, oh, why did I go back there? Oh, well, let's, let's repair while we're here. We died a few times. They should take us back to... Oh, nope. Oh, hey, that worked out. Come on. Playing ring around the rosy here. Nephilim's glory. Jerk. Oh, blah, 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 blah. that's okay. He'll be right there. No, I want that Nephilim's glory. Give me those. Why isn't this guy dying? Damn, stupid tornadoes are tearing me up. Now I got this guy coming in. That was dumb of me to run that way. We got health up here. That helped. Yeah! There we go. Now get this trash off me. Looks like we might we got some books, we got some gems, we got a decent ring. Okay, should have a chapter done now. There we go. Finished another piece of a chapter. Two. Three. Nice, nice, nice. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. So if we got anything to identify, nope. Hmm. 
That's definitely a two-handed weapon, yeah. But I'm going to salvage it. I'm going to stick with... Uh, Okay, let's see. Oh, no, no, no. I want the max P boots on. <laughs> I want the XP gloves on. You can change those. And you know what? Ooh. that half oh yeah cooldown reductions XP it's not doesn't do as much damage but it gives me way more health and XP so we're gonna go with that Getting some shiznit going for our follower, too, here. Nice, nice. There we go. Friends with benefits. Fully, fully equipped a follower. That's a seasonal. And although I can use... Use the... Uh, let's see... Come on now. How many buttons do you have to hit at one time, Paul? Okay, so that. Ooh, that's better. Sell those. Okay, look at my other ones here in a minute. I am selling stuff because I need cash to upgrade with. Then we'll farm mats later. Auric, you should have gave me more cash. Train, let's see, there we go. There, every time we do that, those are lots of levels on gear, lots of levels on stuff. So, I don't know, I don't know what we got for crafting materials. Not a whole lot of our main ones we're going to need. So we may be stuck, but I mean, anything we can craft now is going to have so much more for us. We can make one new weapon. And you know that's going on the opposite hand. And you know it's getting a green gem in it. Oh, yeah. And so is that ring. I'm pretty sure I'm wearing that ring. So that's getting... So you were already at 741 damage. Right? So that's... Uh, we're going to take out the ru this ruby... And put this one in. There we go. Right. Should get one back. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> all right. Uh, to level 10. Can't quite do that yet. 
we'll get to them as soon as we get it. We'll, we'll do those as soon as we get our blacksmith done. He is first and foremost. Reach level 50. Kill Gom. Kill Belial. We can do that now to get those done. What are we on? We are on Master. Let's go see if we can take on Belial really quick here. These guys got tough on us really quick. Get out the cold damage. Oh. Jerks. Vortex sums the guns. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Would you look at that? Holy cow. There's still just that my ooh, uh, eight life per spirit spent. Chance to stun. That big yellow sucker. There he is. Trying to put me right in cold damage. Beat on him. Beat. Ooh, that was going to explode right there. Oh my gosh. This guy's bringing the pain, isn't he? I'm going to freeze you. I'm going to poison you. I'm going to bring in minions. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill the smack out of you. So by being able to equip way bigger weapons than the than the Q or that the blacksmith is making allows us to, to level quicker, which allows better weapons than the blacksmith is currently making to drop, which allows us to level faster. And one, oh, maybe we might... 
We do about 40 or 50 by the end of today. And this is not like a, a speed leveling build in any way, shape, or form. Like I said, I didn't I didn't have the bounty cash to start with for the uh, or the reward cash for the challenge rift because I could have leveled the the blacksmith all the way up, all the way up, immediately upon starting the game. I could have uh, done. I, I could have had the materials for like the first three or four sacrifices in the in the uh, altar, right? So I mean, if we had that, we probably could have been to seventy by now. I mean, really close. But we skipped that because uh, because it's a brand new account. We didn't have that option. And by the time, by the time we're level seventy, and we can go do the uh, challenge rift for the bounty cash, we'll, we'll probably be close enough on our uh, sacrifices that we need to that we need to um, use that that. Uh, Reward cash as a sacrifice because you need one of those the, the, the cash you get from the challenge rift the challenge rift re, Reward cat challenge rift reward cash. Why was that a tongue twister? probably because I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing and uh, Tell you something at the same time and I'm not very good at it Any second now, he's going to fly back over to his pedestal and give us another damn speech. There it is. Oop. Grab that, my follower. Can you? No, he doesn't even need it. Brrr, I'm actually a big, scary monster. Now, now he has a whole new life bar too. Oh, look at all them hells. But if, if it's not, if we don't get there, like, if it's near the end of the week, when we get to 70 and we can run that first bounty cash, Um, whoop, that didn't look good. Then uh, I will just uh, sacrifice it. But if we got a ways to go, if it's like we don't get to 70 till Monday, I'm going to use it for leveling. Right? Or sacrifice it if... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how close we are to that fifteenth slot. This guy's taking a beating, isn't he? He just like he's in there. He's like, I'm here for the long run, boy. He's saying. You think you're gonna take me out? Well, yeah, I do. Eventually, I mean. Pretty soon he's going to start putting all these big green pools of venom all over the floor and it's going to suck. See those. And then I think there's going to be some meteors falling soon. Take him out of the poison there. Nope. Taking that damage.
Oof. Oh, now we gotta start it over. <sighs> Irritating. What do I need? Let me check. See, what do I need? I think I need bounty cashers next. My battle net closed out on me. Bogus. Bo yes. Um Oh, yeah, the greater Rith key, so I need to get to 70 in the class helm. Yeah, might as well start running bounties. Go back to Act 1. Start those bounties so I can at least have those. That fight was taking way too long. I mean, I'm not, I mean, there's probably good XP in it, but like I said, it was taking way too long. We need to kill 125 guys here. That shouldn't be too hard. Yeah, and we get more blacksmith books by doing bounties, right? And killing Nephilim bosses. And what are they called? Uh, treasure goblins will give us give us blacksmith books also, crafting books. But see, we're leveling far faster out here than we were in there fighting. I wanted to look cool and beat beat Belial early, but not really. I wasn't doing it. it wasn't, wasn't happening. There we go, get our kill count going again. Nice. Eighty-nine. Get to about a hundred kills. Let it drop. So we can start getting our Nephilim's glories again. Oh, it's still dropping him. We'll see. Oh. See, we're, we're beating the heck out of this guy. Oh, there's another mob over there. E-Pack. They're going to come to us, it looks like. That's a good thing. Sword for hire. Whoops. Wanted to do that, but ran us out of a uh, spirit. Let's go, let's go. Kill this guy. We need the XP.
Quit running away. Oh, cool. Oh, homing pads. Not bad. Not bad. We can change into those. We can go to town and change into those real quick. Homing pads are pretty cool. Right. Your town portal is no longer interrupted by taking damage while casting town portal. You gain a protective bubble that reduces damage taken by 54%. Right? Reduces cooldowns of all skills by 4%. Chance to deal 10% area damage. And when I get done with this, when I get a better set of shoulders, then these go on my follower and that, that skill emanates to me from the follower. Right? Awesome. <sighs> Train order. There we go. Sell some more shit over here. Whoops. I was run over to the cube instead of the guy. Let's see. Probably not going to get enough out of it to go up the next level, but... Need thirty thousand for the next one. And I I don't I don't remember what level seven is for him, how far up the skill tree that is. One way to find out really quick is make this oh I can't even make it. Well off to the next Bounty. The Cathedral Curse Court. Oh, Cathedral Level 2. We need to go by Cathedral Level 1 on the way and see if we can get the Black Mushroom while we're here. Why, you ask? Well, because we need the Black Mushroom to make the Staff of Hurting, which is an item we're going to need to sacrifice. I might as well start farming for it and the other pieces we need for early. Boy, that speed pylon is, like, making us rock right now, isn't it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's get this. <laughs> Go over here and get these barrels, too. Something good falls out of them all the time. Ooh. Scowler token. Maybe it's better. Nice it's blue. The one I've got is yellow. It should be better.
All right, all right, all right. There's a specific room we're looking for for that mushroom. And we're just going to run around and see if that's here first. And we'll go back to kill gas. Well, I got to get across here, so kill these guys first. I don't think it is. Nope, that's the next. Either down to or yeah, Laoric's Passage. Maybe it's Cathedral Level One that we're we're looking for. If there was another split. It might still be there. We should get our massacre bonus counting again. Fourteen, there we go. Them Uncle Phil's, man, they're so deadly. Once you get to some higher levels, oops, get up them stairs, get that mass. Ah, lost my massacre bonus. And down here is always a good place to check for like pylons and and uh, e packs. Elite packs, champions. Gonna lose my count here, but I want to check the other direction. Check down there. Sometimes there's good stuff down there. Chances of I don't know what the chances are finding the black mushroom this early in the game, but we'll find out. We'll just see here. Oh, empty room. Oh well, break these barrels. Breaking barrels is good. I've gotten epic legendary items out of barrel drops, breaking jars and breaking barrels. All right, breaking tables. Again, the more number of clickables, breakables, and monsters you kill in an hour raises, raises your drop rate. Uh, the chance that anything at all will drop from a monster. And then your uh, magic item find is uh, 
that that floats by what uh, how hard you set the game and by magic item find on your gear and how many people are in your party stuff like that You think him blowing up like that would blow up the barrels too, right? Yeah, like that, being able to just fly through the walls to a... Not a... Use my bonus to check that out. Nope, not down here. Sometimes there's some good chests down here. Ooh! Knee pack. That's good. That blood chain though is not good. Oh, and their 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 uh, illusionist fire chain. That's definitely not cool. Yeah, missed him with every one of those. This is gonna pound him right there. He's done. Oh, vampiric treasure. That looks like handy. Cold resistant, 102 decks, 228 life per per hit. Right on this one. Uh yeah. That one on the follower. Yeah, I didn't think that was going to be better. Nothing else for him. It not look like anything new. New and pretty for me. Other than the life per hit ring. Okay. Oh, we could get lucky here. No, this isn't the room. Although it's, it's square like that, we're looking for the sh general shape of this room, but it should be facing the other way, right? It should be pointing up, not down. And the mushrooms will be, if this corner was facing, facing north instead of south, right? And then the mushrooms would be like right here. I'm not sure, maybe, I mean, it might show up in this room, just, it might just need to be that general shape, but that other room doesn't have any stairs in it either, so. All right, to the next. Bounty, we'll check. Mm -hmm. I don't know, we'll check that other corner first. Missed him with it. Oh, a cursed chest. Chance to get some gems, even if we don't complete the chest. All right, if we complete it in time, we'll get two chests. 
If we don't, we'll just get that one chest there. So whatever. Yeah, we're not going to beat it. That's fine. That's fine. We'll still get some rewards just for hitting it. Yeah, I didn't even get through two waves before the timer ended. That's all right. That's all right. There's going to be some XP here. There's going to be some good XP. Okay, hey, guys, come here. I'm like right here. Come attack me. Get all aggro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. Forget about that other guy over there. You don't even see him. Freaking arrow shooters. Well, there's the third wave. Pretty sure down the end of that hallway is where we come into it. It's going to be a dead end on the other side of that door. Well, we got some good gloves, but they're not going to be our uh, our other gloves, are they? The uh... Oh, that's not one of the guys we need. This is one of the guys we need. There we go. All right, get some small rewards here. Yeah, 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 I don't want to take those off yet. I want the XP, but my follower can benefit from those bad boys. Make sure there's nothing else for me here. Nope. Not worried about skills right now. Yep, this is where we drop in. All right, didn't get it. Go to the cursed court. Oh, lore. Well, coming back to the end of the thing here. Didn't get that far. I mean, well, we were at 18. We are now 38. That's 10 more levels in a couple hours. I mean, not bad. We're not having our uh, challenge rift chest to start with, you know.
there's a good bit of money out of the uh, bounty chest too. So once we kill those, and there's a a boss bounty in every rift, like bounty rift, right? There's a little 40. Cleanse the cursed chest. Should be going to do that. Probably get a decent kill bonus just out of that. Oh, look at that. There we go. And these go right on the follower. Oh, this could be bad for me. There we go. Get over here and... Oh, no! I went too far. Wait for that dashing strike and then run over there. Pop that chest. There we go. There we go. Now we got something going on. Now we'll get some kill bonus going here. I don't even care if I don't get the chest. Because either way, there's going to be a hundred enemies. And all the other guys here. Give me some gold. Give me that Nephilim's glory. Give me that health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. This will be good. This will be a good one. Kill remaining enemies. Yeah, we didn't get the hundred, but whatever. Made it to forty. Kill this guy. He's annoying me. Kill this guy. He's annoying me. Got some gear laying there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. And it's going to super annoy me because some of this gear is going to be. Uh... Oh, I can't even wear that. That sucks. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. See, they want me to replace my pants over there, and I just don't want to do it because all the XP I'm getting out of that set right now. I think better for the follower. Oh, we can go go sell all this. And see if we can level the, uh, level our, uh, blacksmith up any further. Repair here to Yeah, the gray stuff ain't worth jack squat. Should just be salvaging it, but. Oh, 
What do we got here? Oh yeah, those dice that were crappy for him. Keep those. No other jams. There we go, there we go. Now we're gonna have to go, like as soon as we get them to nine, because I think at nine, the next one we will need to get him to 10, we need a death breath and we need to be able to beat a 70 to do that. But then we can uh, do a round where we just salvage everything so we can get our, our bounty mats. And then after that, then we'll start crafting crap because this stuff is all going to be level 59 or something, like way above us. Yahoo. All right, it's time for me to shut this down. So we were at 18 or so. Oh, go over here. Let this guy talk while I'm... We're at level 18 or so. We've got the 40 in, in two hours. So we doubled our, our level. So if we go tomorrow, right, we should be able to get to 70 in our playtime tomorrow. So that's uh, three days at two hours a day, hour, two hours a day. Level 70, right? Not really pushing hard, and I just, just kind of dink it around. But by using our uh, Altar of Sacrifice over there, our Altar of Rights, and choosing where we're going, and I understand I didn't do the best at it, you know, because I am used to going in a full crew. Um, I should probably, even with the kids coming, I should at least finish up the set of bounties because there will be a bunch of... Uh, a, a bunch of gold and a bunch of bounty mats and crafting mats in that bounty cache. So we should just like press on with that. We did, and we already killed our boss for this level, so it shouldn't be too bad. As long as I don't mess around. As long as I just, right? <laughs> as long as I don't mess around. Yeah, this is me. Standing, oh, why did I do that? I hate it when I do that. That's just going to bring us back to town, I think. Nope, it takes to our, our waypoint. All right, you little suckers. Oh, that stupid blood chain. Fire chain. Screw this. Let's just keep moving. These guys will follow us. There we go. Run away again. See, now it's not going to help me at all. Okay, if they stay over there, give me a chance to get some stuff going here. Ooh, I might be able to keep them off me here in this corner. That was kind of working. Then they put a fire pot under me. Jerks. Let's try over here in this corner. Nope, fire pot right away. There we go, get a jam out of it if they'll let me pick it up. 
You're about to die, buddy. I know you don't know this. But I'm tired of you. Tired, I tell you. Sick and tired. You're gonna give me your loot. Beat them till the loot falls out of them. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. There we go. Now you come here. Oh, this is the. Look how quick I've beaten her now. That's not right. That's not right. She was like the bounty boss, and I just slapped her around. <laughs> Those three little just, I uh, was like all day trying to kill them. Fire bad. Ah. Yep, I'm gonna run from these guys. I don't even know where I went. Oop. Again with the fire chains. What is this? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was not a good idea. Let's pop this. Oh, the pot, the chest disappeared. What? That was weak. It was probably one of the hunter, kill a hunter guys chest, first chest. I was like, oh wait, the bounties kill a hundred people of random people. We can't have that. <laughs> yeah, that seven, that seven sided strike doesn't, well it's on cooldown now. I'll have to wait to change it. Doesn't work very well. The first one I think done way more damage because it done it to a single target there we go leveled up so I can change my skill here what is this burn oh I like that. No spirit costs. Still got the cooldown. But it freezes guys that I'm punching on. That take more damage when they're frozen. Because I... Like every third punch freezing thing was going on. you and your blood change oh why can't I go into my menu now there we go get our punches I think one of these freezes oh no no you don't hmm that's what I want Let's go with this one. See how this does. Oh, yeah, that's stacking some damage. Boys, you're you're in for it now. Come on, get him, get him, get him. 
to just be running run around killing zombies. That's all I need to be doing right now. Not getting pig-headed trying to kill this stupid mob. go I think this should get some guys coming out of the ground here a bunch of guys There we go, yeah. Need another just good pack of zombies. Uh, here's a decent pack. Normally out in here, there's like, just like, big, here we go, there's a decent pack there. Now we're getting a nice pack of monsters together here. There we go. Oof. <laughs> All right, we got the got the bounty done though. Pick up that reusable part. I uh, got homing pad, so I should be able to get out of here. There we go. Stupid. Oh, the spear chuckers. Oh, this is something I should do really quick. Let's put this. We got much. All right, anyways. What am I doing? Skills. Why did I take a screenshot? Oh, got to wait for my cooldown on that to be done anyways. There we go. Why? Don't have agility open yet. Uh, uh. Armor, not what I wanted to do. Okay, damage dealt. Okay. 
20% okay, chance to be stunned. That'll give us extra damage. And then on RB, I want to put... Whatever the heck it was, I lost it. I forgot what I was looking for. So talented. So, so talented. Seven-sided strike. There we go. Seven-sided strike. There we go. I can just hold that down. And whenever it's ready to go... We'll just go. I should check one of these. See if it's got cold damage. Because I'm just doing lightning. Chilled long range, yeah. Last one is cold damage. Uh, it stuns guys though now too. So take more damage when they're stunned. Yeah, let's go. Am I dead? What the what is going on here? There we go. Looks like he got stupid on me all of a sudden. I think the other one was like still doing better though. Oh, here's the guy we're looking for. Shall we're whooping his ass. Boop, boom, boom's bad. Now we just got to kill another 120 guys here. They're stubborn. They don't want to die. I don't know. We got something going on here. So I think that's an event too, but I don't want to deal with it right now. <laughs>
I hear a bunch of thumping outside. I bet you that's the ground babies right there. You come in and be all loud. Oh. All right. That's what I figured they'd be home here in a minute. Well, we're going to call it for the day. When I pick this up tomorrow, it should save this, but oh well. If not, we'll start again. All right, so again, uh, what do we get to here? Level, got to level 41, got some different gear open, almost got our blacksmith leveled all the way up. Not bad for leveling without a challenge rift cache. All right. Have a good day.